Hi guys, it's Miss Jessica. This is Evie, and Evie's gonna be my co-teacher for the, the for the day. So she's gonna read a story to you called "I Love You, Stinky Face." I love you, Stinky Face. So let's give a round of applause for Evie. Good job, Evie. Let's start reading. This is called "I." Mhm. Mm it's called "I Love You, Stinky Face," written by Lisa McCord and illustrated by eh, Saeed Moa. Illustrated up, mean they did the pictures. Good job. Okay, let's start <clears throat> reading. This is the back of the book. It has, I think this is like, like a letter or something? It tells you what the book's about. Oh, it tells me what the book's about. Even if a little boy were an alligator or a super smelly skunk, this mother would love her child unconditionally. Share this magical book with the, with the stinky face in your life. A funny, tender bedtime story. Book list story review. Okay, let's start reading it. What's up? For Amy, L.M. For my best wonderful ones, Lynn. You don't have to read that part, Evie. It's okay. okay. Mama said, I love you, my wonderful child, but I had a Wait. question. <clears throat> This is the mother and this is the child. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you were a if you were a big scary ape, I would make you birthday cake, your birthday cake out of bananas, and I would tell you, I love you, my big scary ape. Good job. Turn the page. <clears throat> but mama, but mama, but mama, what if I were a super smelly skunk and I smelled so bad that my name was. Stinky face. Then I pl plunk you in a bubble bath, and if you still smelled stinky, I wouldn't mind. I'd whisper in your ear, I love you, stinky face. This is the book title. But mama, but mama, what if I were an alligator with big, sharp teeth? Ha. <laughs> I'd buy you a bigger toothbrush. And if your throat hurt, I look inside your huge mouth. I tell you, I love you, my dangerous alligator. Good job. Never look at an alligator. Okay. One. Okay. But mama, what if I were a terrible meat-eating dinosaur? <sighs> then I'd make you a mountain of hamburgers to eat. And I'd say, I love you, my sweet, terrible dinosaur. Then I would live by the swamp. Ow! Oh, sorry. <clears throat> live by the swamp and take care of you. Always. I tell you, I love you, my sm slimy slum. What? Did I skip a page? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but mama, but mama, what if I were a swamp creature with slimy, smelly seaweed hanging from my body? Then I would live by the swamp and take care of you. Always. I tell you, I love you, my slimy swamp monster. That's him. But mama, but mama, what if I were a green alien from Mars and I ate bugs instead of peanut butter? Then I would fill your lunchbox with spiders and ants and the tastiest bugs you've ever had. And I'd pack a note with all the bugs that said, I love you, my little green, bon appetite, greenie, bon appetite. But mama, but mama, what if I were a one-eyed monster? Then I would look right into your one eye and say, I love you. And I would sing to you until your one droopy eyelid finally closed and you fell fast asleep. I love you, Mama. And I love you, my wonderful child. The end. Good job, Evie. Can everyone say good job, Evie? Maybe another time. Please. All right. Time mm -hmm. book. Next time. Okay. All right. So... This is Miss Jessica saying bye, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.